Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I thought I'd mention an astral skit that I ran into the other day. Couldn't make heads or tails of it until I started talking it over with other people uh, with an um, emphasis on symbolism of the deep subconscious mind. And it goes like this. There were two people who, um, two men and a woman involved, and then there was me, okay? Remember, deep, unconscious, or subconscious mind, right? So, it was a sort of um, symbolic representation of something that's been going on um, uh, in, the, in the society, in the social setting. Uh, and I think to do with feral drives, feral instincts clearing from Earth uh, is a result of the ascension process. So it goes like this, two men and a woman, and they came to visit me on the astral plane in like a daydream, a recurrent daydream, okay? And so I'm the, if you can imagine, the neutral observer, right? And I mean, I, I'm not always neutral, but I'm ideally the neutral observer trying to figure out about these feral drives that are clearing. Okay, so they came to visit me uh, in the place where I was staying that night. And I stayed, uh, because they were there in their minds, I stayed at another place. So I, I had a better way of um, being neutral that way. So their minds were concentrated on that place and my mind was, my physical beingness was in a different place, slightly different, okay? So here's how the skit went. Um, the woman was being um, vied for by both men, right? Both men wanted to, to uh, be friends with the woman in a, in a kind of a romantic or sexual way. Both men knew each other and uh, had known each other for years. Okay, so you could imagine camaraderie, male camaraderie. So, so what really happened there, let me see. The prior weekend, both, um, both men had shown up too, and one of them had... Um, performed uh, the act of sex with the other one. I'm not sure which is which. With the other one, uh, uh, what do you call it? Anal intercourse, yeah. And so, and then they went away, you know, or went to sleep or something. So, and so this time, it was like a continuation of an ongoing, like, feral drive saga. This time, one of the men, the man who had had that act done to him, by, say, the second man, not the first man. The second man um, made love to the woman, right? And off in the background, I could hear the, f the um, gut instincts of the first man saying, shouting, uh, no, 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 I wanted her, I wanted her, <laughs> right? And, and they did these things with an intention of, of exciting me, uh, sexually, all right? So, uh, I thought about this for days, right? I was trying to figure out what was going on. And finally, I understand. I have at least a notion uh, about it with regard to the deep unconscious mind. I think that there's a trend of energy in the world today where men try to... Um, you know that popular term, F U in the A, right? That term, that slang term, is a, a, a way that the unconscious mind sees competition and capitalism, all right? And men want to, to make the acquaintance of beautiful women, right? And so they compete with each other to... If you can imagine, like, uh, you've seen these pictures of stags uh, in uh, male deer in, in, what do they call it, 
rutting season, is it? When they fight each other to try to win the females like that. This dream was like that. The, the two men were, uh, were the previous weekend effing each other in the A, right? I mean, there was a, a like a, the unconscious mind only sees concrete facts and physical objects, right? And so what I saw uh, the previous weekend was not a homosexual act. It was, it was a, the un, deep unconscious mind portraying its notion of competition for women. Uh, so, do you understand? I hope it, it wasn't so easy to grasp this. So this this term that's been going around the internet, the uh, astral stories, all the time in the past. F you in the A does not have to do with male homosexuality. It has to do with the instinct of male competition regarding uh, mating, the mating process. And, um, and the idea that, that I would be uh, stimulated by this display, this display of uh, like two men fighting over a woman and one uh, win the other man winning the woman for a little while and the first man being very upset about it. The idea that this would excite me has to do with um, the ancient biology of this race. When uh, we, um, I, we were more like perhaps in a primate group and, and this kind of thing went on and women did feel very uh, excited by it because everyone visualized it and saw it, you see. It's still the memory of that, the trace memory of that kind of event is in the un deep unconscious mind of humankind and is clearing now. So, one mystery, one possible explanation. <laughs> and capitalism, think of it, capitalism as a possible expression of the the mating fight of the male, a way of uh, a way of making that socially acceptable, and is there a new way, a better way to be? I always think of the Star Trek episodes and how everyone was living to their highest ideals of of uh, th work to do in the world and seemed to have as much as they needed, you know, and uh, just. The idea that we don't have to fight so, we don't have to fight each other, we can work harmoniously towards a goal, you know? That's pretty cool, and I think it's coming up in the future. <laughs> <laughs>